the Lewis structure of magnesium phosphide has magnesium, a metal from the left side of the table, reacting with phosphorus, a non-metal from the right-hand side. Metals and non-metals combine to make ionic compounds, which means there's a transfer of electrons. The metals are going to give away its electrons to the non-metals. Let's investigate further. Magnesium is in group two, so it brings two valence electrons. Draw yourself Mg with two dots. Phosphorus is in group 15, so it brings five valence electrons each. One, two, three, four, five. I spread them out before I double them up because it's good form. And like I said, the metals are going to give away electrons to the non-metals. The name of the game is for the metals to give away all their electrons and for the non-metals to have a complete octet of eight electrons total. So when this magnesium gives away its two electrons, it is now empty. Oh, that's perfect. But the phosphorus brought five and gained two. That's only seven electrons. This electron still is not paired up with anything. So we need another Mg. Mg will bring two electrons with it. Give away one of those to this phosphorus. Now phos that phosphorus is happy. But this Mg is very unhappy. He still has an extra electron. Maybe there's another P to give it away to. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, look, there is another one. Gives away that electron to the P, but that P is now not happy because there are still two unpaired electrons there. He brought five and gained one. That's still only six electrons around him. Bring another Mg in. That'll bring the extra two that we need. Now that's what I am talking about. Shh. Now that phosphorus is happy. Brought five, gained three. And that magnesium is happy. Gave away both of his. This is the transfer. Let's draw the final Lewis structure. Mg gave away its electrons, so don't put any dots around it. Do put it in square brackets to show that it's charged and write the charge in the top right corner. The charge of plus two is because you lost two negatively charged electrons. Losing minuses gives you a plus charge. You're gonna have to draw that three times because you needed three of them to make the magic happen. Similarly, you'll draw the phosphoruses. Phosphorus brought five and gained three each, so it now has a full octet of eight electrons around it. That is three extras. It's a charge of minus three. There's me drawing it out another time. Here is your complete Lewis structure for magnesium phosphide. You might be allowed to take a little shortcut here. You might be allowed to say three times Mg instead of writing that out three times and two times the phosphorus. See how much faster that was? Make sure you're allowed to use that shortcut before you actually do. Nice, we are done. Thanks for sticking with me. Best of luck.